Today we will tell the story of the crossing of the Red Sea, which is found in the book of Exodus chapters 10 and 13. May the word of God reach our hearts as a source of inspiration for our lives. God led his people through the arid paths of the desert with a divine manifestation that inspired fear and reverence. During the day, an imposing column of cloud rose majestically on the horizon, while at night, the darkness was split by a radiant column of fire, a visible demonstration of the power and protection of the Most High. Through winding and unpredictable paths, God led the Israelites away from the clutches of Egypt, not through the most direct route to Canaan, but on a winding journey towards the Red Sea. There, on the shores of the vast waters, God commanded Moses to camp the people in a specific location under the watchful eye of the vast sea. At that moment, God revealed to Moses the plan that was about to unfold before them. One last time, he would harden Pharaoh's heart, inciting him to pursue the Hebrews to the shores of the sea. For it was there, at the most critical and seemingly desperate moment, that divine glory would manifest itself unquestionably. Pharaoh, upon glimpsing the traces of the Hebrews at the edge of the Red Sea, felt a flame of anger burning in his chest. How dare these runaway slaves defy his authority? With an impetuous decree, he summoned his army and set off on a relentless pursuit, determined to bring back to his tyranny those who dared challenge his dominion. The people of Israel saw the imminent threat approaching and overwhelmed by despair, directed their anguish towards Moses. Why have you brought us here to die? They cried out in desperation. If we were still under the yoke of the Egyptians, at least we would be alive. But now, because of you, we are about to perish. Moses, rising before the crowd, sought to bring them comfort and hope amidst the storm that was approaching. Fear not, he exclaimed fervently. Witness what the Lord is about to accomplish on our behalf. He will fight our battle. Look at the Egyptians. After today, you will never see them again. Then the voice of the Most High echoed in the ears of Moses, bringing him divine instructions. Raise your staff over the waters, God commanded. Extend your hand over the sea, for the children of Israel will cross to the other side on dry ground. And at the moment Moses obeyed the divine orders, an unimaginable miracle unfolded before the astonished eyes of the people. The column of cloud that had previously guided them advanced boldly, positioning itself between the Hebrews and the Egyptians like a divine shield protecting them from the approaching enemies. And there it remained, standing as a vigilant guardian throughout the day and into the night, announcing the promise of liberation and salvation. With a firm and determined look, Moses raised his wrinkled hand towards the vast sea that stretched before them. At the same instant, as if responding to the divine command, an invisible and powerful force emerged, stirring the waters tumultuously. A fierce wind swept the waves back, abruptly separating them and revealing the seabed. As the waters receded, imposing liquid walls rose to the right and left, forming a narrow and winding passage between them. The incessant wind blew vigorously, keeping the water walls firm and proud, while the dry trail stretched before the admiring eyes of the Israelites. In the dead of night shrouded in darkness, a divine order echoed in Moses' mind. It was time to move forward, to cross the deep abyss that rose like a barrier between them and the longed-for freedom. With cautious steps and hearts full of hope, the Hebrew people began to tread the narrow path between the water walls. Guided by the faint light of the moon and the twinkling stars that dotted the night sky. The distant roar of the sea echoed around them, a constant reminder of the greatness and power of the Creator. Meanwhile, in the shadows of the night, the Egyptian army was approaching, driven by the wrath of their king and a thirst for revenge. Led by greed and arrogance, they advanced along the same narrow path the Israelites had traversed. But as they reached the heart of the sea, the scene changed drastically. An oppressive darkness enveloped them, obscuring their sight and sowing confusion among the ranks of the army. And then chaos ensued, the war chariots trembled and shook, 
and the wheels began to shatter under the weight of divine judgment. Suddenly, the Egyptian army saw the gravity of their situation. They cried out in despair, Run! The Lord is fighting for the Israelites! In a frenzy of panic, they turned and ran in search of safety, trying to escape the relentless fate unfolding before them. Meanwhile, in the camp of the Israelites, an aura of tension hung in the air, mixed with a glimmer of hope. Moses, with bated breath and a pounding heart, raised his powerful hand over the roiling waters, answering the divine call. The sun was rising on the horizon, illuminating the scene with its golden rays, while Moses, with determination, pointed towards the churning sea. Suddenly, a thunderclap echoed through the heavens, and the waves that had once formed a safe passage for the Israelites now rose in fury. With a deafening roar, the walls of water crashed against each other, forming a curtain of foam and spray that engulfed the entire Egyptian army. Not a single soldier escaped the wrath of the waters, which swallowed them with relentless veracity. On the other side of the sea, the Israelites watched, amazed and fearful, the undeniable power of the God who had freed them. With the sun bathing the beach in golden hues, they saw the lifeless bodies of their enemies washed ashore, a silent testimony to divine justice. And then, in a moment of reverence and gratitude, they raised their voices in praise to the Lord, whose power they had witnessed and in whom they now placed their unwavering faith. This is the eighth part of a 13-part series where we will tell the biblical story of Moses and the Exodus. Stay with us so you don't miss the next chapters of this story that is so important to all of us. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, click on the subscription button and become part of our community. Don't forget to comment, like, and click on the notification bell. Your presence and participation here are very important to us. And if you missed the previous episodes, we have a complete playlist with all the videos in chronological order. Today I want to leave a verse that is found in the book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 14. In the future, when your children ask you, what does this mean, say to them, with a mighty hand the Lord brought us out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. May God's presence be a constant in your life, bringing blessings, joy, and love. God bless you.